Alright, so I ran out of ideas for the videos to make this week, and um, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I thought I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial on how to hack any sort of 3DS, 2DS, Nintendo 3DS, and Nintendo 2DS. And before you guys ask me, yes, I am switching mics, or I just switched mics, I'm now using this one. It's handheld, so you're going to have to get used to that. So, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, this tutorial will include pretty much you having to access your SD card, so make sure you have a screwdriver if you're using a new Nintendo 3DS, which is what we're going to be using in this video. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so before we continue on with the tutorial, I first want to tell you guys what Homebrew actually is. Now, Homebrew is a, like, sort of type of tool that allows you to get free software, free games, um, it allows you to get things on your 2DS that Nintendo normally wouldn't be al allowed to, you know, put on your 3DS, or, you know, it, that would be very hard to get on your 3DS, but now that makes it much easier. Um, and it comes with tools like FBI, which makes things, once again, way easier. You can install any CIA file from anywhere. Um, however, the free games thing, I'm not going to show you how to do because that's illegal um uh, instead i'm gonna show you uh, um how to actually get homebrew but you could do a lot more things with homebrew as well you could get um like completely different games that has nothing to do with nintendo that somehow now exists that you can get on your 3ds so yeah i'm there are tutorials on how to get that but i'm just going to be showing you how to get homebrew so yeah Okay, so, full disclaimer, um, this could indeed brick your device, it could brick your 3DS or 2DS, so, um, yeah, just be careful, um, I'd make sure to disable Spot Pass and a couple other things, the Nintendo might, um, track you down with this, they, actually, they won't track you down, but, yeah, this could definitely brick your device, so be extremely cautious when watching the tutorial, and if you follow better with, um, actual words and well, if you fall better with reading something instead of um, watching something, go to the 3DS Hacks tutorial in the description down below. It, you know, has a bunch of other um, tutorials as well, but there's also, if you're using an older version of firmware on your 3DS, it sh will show a tutorial for that as well. Um, I think Sound Hacks was the best one for 11.3, and it was the easiest one as well. But right now we're going to be using Seed Miner because that one... It works for the latest firmware, 11.10, and if you're not on 11.10, go update right now. Go to your system settings and update. So, yeah, let's get started. You're going to want to insert your SD card into your computer. You want to find a uh, Nintendo, you want to find your Nintendo 3DS folder. If you don't have it, then, um, yeah, then, yeah, you want to put it back into your 3DS, try to get some games on it, but you should have it. Um, then you want to copy your, so if you double click on it, you'll see a folder with, um, that's 32 characters long. You want to copy the name of the folder somewhere. Um, it's also known as your IDO. Then you want to power on your device. You want to go to your friends list and, and after that, you want to find your friend code and copy it down on your computer somewhere. Then after that, you want to open up Brute Force Move at a Movable on your computer and enter your friend code with no spaces or dashes. Then you want to paste your 32 character long folder name into that area or your or also known as your IDEO. Um, Type and then click I'm not a robot and then When it says when it's prompted register friend you want to add uh, This person I'm showing off right now on my 2ds. I mean my 3ds um, It's actually a bot and this will allow you to get the move The movable dot sed file on your computer and once you select go you'll be able to download it all right. So once you got your um, movable um, .scd file, 
you want to go to system settings. Actually, no. What you will need to do is go get seed miner. Actually, sorry, no. You will need to get um frog miner save, B9S tool, and Luma 3DS, and the latest release of the homebrew launcher. You can get them from the links I'm showing on screen, either at 3dshacks.com, or you can find them in the description down below. Alright, so now, right now, you're going to want launch your system settings on your device, data management, DSIware, under system mem and then under system memory, select your DSIware game, um, simply, to get a DSIware game, just go to, um, go to the eShop and download Nintendo Fan Network if you don't already have any DSIware games, I just did that on my 3DS, so I don't need to do that, then you want to click copy, and it should copy it to the SD card once you do so. Then, power off your, your device, insert your SD card to your computer, copy your movable.sed file to the root of your SD card, and then copy the boot.firm from... Actually, no, so extract luma3ds.zip to your SD card somewhere, or not to um wherever, and then... There will be a file in it called boot.firm. You want to copy that to the root of your SD card. Um, then you want to do... And then for the B9S tool, extract the release folder that you download. And there will be a boot.nds file that you want to put on the root of your SD card. and Which is pretty much just the main SD card. And then copy the boot.3dsx file to the root of your SD card, that's from the homebrew launcher, and then copy the private folder from the frogminersave.zip to the root of your SD card, so to get that you just extract the frogminersave.zip and then open it up and copy that folder. Then go to Nintendo 3DS, then your IDO, which is the 32 character long ID, then there'll be another folder, which is another ID thing and then go to Nintendo DSi aware. Then there will be um then there will be an eight character long ID dot bin um file somewhere. It'll be literally whatever. And so you want to copy the name of that I'm pretty sure. Yeah you want to copy the name of that. Then, after that, you want to open Fred Duel on your computer. Just go to the link down below to get to that. Or, go to 3dshacks.com. Either one will do. Select your movable.sed file um, in that area. And then, go to the 8... Ter then, find your 8 character um, dot .bin file. Actually, sorry, no. When you go back... So, going back to um the... Uh, part where you gotta copy the bin, so don't copy the name, copy the actual file to your computer somewhere, and then you wanna select that file, um, in that area, and then you wanna complete the I'm not a robot CAPTCHA, click start, wait for the process to complete, when it's done, you, uh, um, can download the modified DSiWare archive from the site, um, the file will be called 423, 83814.bin. You wanna that's from the output slash hacks folder in on the um Fred tool Fred tool underscore output dot zip um that you download. So you wanna copy that to the um to where um the eight to where the other um file was. And you want to reinsert your SD card into your device, or to Nintendo 3DS or 3DS. Power on your device, launch system settings, go to data management, DSiWare, and there'll be a sort of like section where it says like, um, uh, hacks. You want to copy that to the system memory, and then you go to the main uh, system settings. Go to internet settings, Nintendo DS connections. And then, it'll load the, I don't know what it's called, it was like JPN Flipnote, I don't know, it was like Flipnote Studio, I think. And this part is actually really hard, so you could either follow what I'm doing, but that might be kind of hard, so go to the link down below, and you'll find a visual guide that you can easily do. And, but anyways, once that's done, 
you just go to, um, so it'll sort of like have this menu, and you want to click, um, so right now I'm just going to be showing the 3DS hacks guide right now, so you want to go and use your D-pad to move to the install bootstrap, the install boot 9 strap, and then press A, and then press start, and select at the same time to begin the process, and then once completed at the bottom of the screen, it says done. Exit the the B9S tool, then power off the device. And then after that, boot your device while holding select to launch the Luma configuration menu. Use the A button and the D-pad to turn on the following. Show NAND and uh, show NAND or user string in system settings. There will be an X right beside it. Then press start to save and reboot. And then after that, you can skip this if you really don't care. Okay, now we're almost done. All we're going to need to do is install the latest release of Animon 3DS. You want the CIA file. The latest release of Checkpoint, the CIA file. The latest release of the Homebrew Launcher Wrapper. The latest release of God Mode. Um, the latest release of DSP1. The latest release of FPI. You want the CIA file and the 3DSX files, and the latest release of CTR No Time Offset. Um, and then you also want the latest release of Luma 3DS Updater, and that's the CIA file. Okay, so first you're going to want to power on your device. I'm going to be recording the screen with KitKat. Insert your SD card in... Oh, sorry, no. Um, with OBS, or Elgato. Insert the SD card into your computer, create a folder named 3DS to the root of your SD card, and then create a folder named CIAs to the root of the SD card. Copy the CTR no time offset dot 3DSX to the um, 3DS folder on your SD card that you just created. Copy the FBI dot 3D 3DSX to the 3DS folder on your SD card. Copy the homebrew launcher.cia to the CIA's folder on your SD card. Copy the luma updater.cia to the CIA folders on your SD card. Copy the fbi.cia to the CIA folders on your S f folder on your SD card. Copy the dsp1.cia to the CIA folder on your SD card. Copy the animon the animon 3DS.cia to the uh, CIA's folder on your SD card, and then create a folder named payloads in the Luma folder on your SD card, um, and then copy the godmode9.firm from the godmode9.zip folder that we downloaded earlier to the, Lu to, to the Luma slash payloads folder on your SD card, <sighs> and then copy the gm9 folder from godmode9.zip to the root of the sd card then your sd card should look like this then reinsert your sd card into your device um power on your 2ds or 3ds and then uh, after that you want to launch the download play you want to launch download play and then uh, Press L, down, and select at the same time to launch the Rosalina menu. Um, select miscellaneous options. And then switch the hb.title to the current app. So you want to select that. Then press B to continue. Press B to return the to, to uh, the Rosalina main menu. Press B to exit the Rosalina menu. And then select Home to close download play. Launch, then you want to launch the download play application again, and it should load the homebrew launcher. And this, so at this point, if it doesn't, then you've screwed up somewhere, and if it does, then you're pretty much almost successful. Um, then you want to launch CTR no time offset from the home from the list of home brew. Um, and you want to press A to set the offset to zero. For so I don't know why we ought to do this, but if you want, you could skip it. Then you want to launch FBI from the list um, of Homebrew, and you want to navigate to SD. You want to navigate to SD, then CIA's, and select current directories, 
and you could install and delete all CIAs when you click that. I won't have that option, but um, you will have that option when you do this. However, you could also just install it, but I, but I like to do install and delete all CIAs because it keeps things way simpler. Then launch the DSP1 application. I don't have the application, so I can't really show this. I'm just going to show um, 3ds hacks. And then uh, once it has completed, press B to um, self-delete the app and return to the home menu. And you want to power off the device. Launch God mode by holding start during boot. If you are prompt, um, I once again I can't really show this because I don't have this. If you're prompted to create an essential file backup, press A to do so, and then press A to continue once it has completed. Um, and uh, the rest of this, yeah, then press home to bring up the action menu, um, and then press scripts, and then press GM9 Megascript, and then press scripts from Pelex Guide, and then select set set up luma 3ds to ctr nand when prompted press a to proceed then press a to unlock sys nand and writing and then input the key combo given and then press a and from here you could clean up the sd card but at this point it's not really needed and when you're backing up essential files um if you get an error then it's mainly because you are out of space Alright, and that is it. That is how to hack your Nintendo um, 3DS, 2DS, whatever. Um, it worked pretty well for me. Um, I wish I could show more for the tutorial, but I don't have another 3DS, and I was planning on doing this way earlier on, but then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to mod my 3DS, so that way, whatever. Which was a big mistake, because I could have shown you guys way more on how to do this, but right now, yeah, that's all I really could show you. Uh, if you want a better guide on, like, you know, a bit that goes into a bit more details, you'll have way more options going to it in the description down below. Um, for the 3dshacks.com guide, um, you'll have options to do earlier firmware. Um, but right now, the latest firmware is 11.10. So, yeah, now, now that you have homebrew and stuff, you can get what literally whatever you want. You could get many hacked titles. You could get um, free games if... That's what you're into. You could um, record gameplay with um, NTRCFU, which I'm, which I actually did for this tutorial. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. It has been a while since I've recorded last. Um, uh, the reason why I completely switched mics was because the last one was just producing so much background noise that at this point I could barely even, like it was, it was pretty bad. Now this one you might be able to hear some background noise, but there's but like it can't really pick up anything that's like in the background it just picks up a lot of noise and that's about it like if stuff is happening upstairs or stuff's happening in the background you can't really hear it so yeah everybody thanks for watching hopefully you have enjoyed um soon i'm going to come out with another ubuntu with another review on this one is going to be on ubuntu hopefully you guys will enjoy that one i'm still trying to get the hard drive i'm going to need for that but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you later. Bye.